today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because we've been together for four years and we are still stuck in the same position where we was the first year we was together. Some of our issues are financial, verbal abuse here and there. We had some issues in the past with cheating and stuff. So. I want the judge to tell Kern that it's time for him to step up. Janae's the woman that I want to spend my life with and be with nobody else. If Kern got down on one knee today, I would definitely say yes. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Janaya Kendrick and Kern Thorne. The two of you have been together for four years. You have one child together, correct? Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a before your vows. You want to get married, but there are some significant difficulties, including significant difficulties with her family. Ms. Kendrick, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here asking me whether or not you should get married? Okay, well, I've been with him for four years. Right. We've been living together for four years, but we still seem to be stuck when we first met each other. Um, we're the little things. Could Tell come. me about a few of those little things. Things like who 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 does what for the household, who cleans what more, and those little things become an argument a lot with me and him. Mm -hmm. um, finances becomes an argument every other day. Um, he when he's out of money or he's broke or something, or he doesn't have anything left, uh, he'll start he'll get mad because he's the only one working. Mm -hmm and bringing in the money consistently. And he'll start to get mad and argue right. about, well, you don't do this, and you're not working, and right. you're not helping with the bills. But it's 50-50, I believe, because I pay the majority of the rent. He just turns and pays the... The, the like, other thing. The, the other half, of, right. like the little small portion of the rent. And then uh, we have maybe like two to three bills that he'll pay. Mr. Thorne, is that an accurate representation of what's going on in your household, or do you have a different uh, point of view on it? Um, she's somewhat accurate of it. What she does helps a lot because she takes care of the house, and that allows me to work freely and to do what I need to do. Right. Um, when it comes to the finances side, I would say it's an issue because I am the only one working. And, you know, it, if I got to do everything on my own, what I have is what I have. If I don't, then that's it, you know. She is right. And say that to me again. If I have to do everything on my own, what I have is what I have. I mean, in terms of meaning, if we have it to do it, we can do it. But if we don't have it to do it, I got you. you know, we can't do it. We'll have to see and say, okay, we have to wait till next time we get I get paid again, or it just just yes. on to the wayside. Now, from what I'm seeing right here, that's that's normal couple stuff that that we can work on. But, Ms. Kendrick, I understand that there's some underlying issues from the beginning of the relationship that I think you're still upset about. Yeah. Why don't you tell me what was going on in the beginning that you still have resentment about today? In the beginning of our relationship, uh, everything was fine. And then um, I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And when I got pregnant, he left me because I was pregnant. Um, five months... Five months and a half later, he comes back and says that he wants to do things right and he wants to be a father. Um, at this time, I was living in a hotel, lost my job, and then he opened up his door to me. So that's where I've been ever since. But because of the simple fact that we wasn't together when, when, he, when I moved in with him, it was a, it was a lot of things going on. Um, example... Um, there was a time where I wasn't too comfortable walking around his household yet because I still felt like a guest. Mm -hmm. He still had other people. He had roommates at the time. Mm -hmm. I still felt like a guest. But at this particular day, he just kept bringing me stuff up and down the stairs, making sure I was okay, like, to stay in the room. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I'm kind of fishy. Like, why? So five, ten minutes later, he comes upstairs and tells me he's going to go to the store. But when I look out the window, he leaves with another woman. Mm. And... She gets in her car, and he gets in his car, and then they drive off, and then I didn't see him until the next morning. Okay. How I got in contact with him, I had to call her phone because uh, I've dealt with... I've went through his phone plenty of times. I've seen him talking to me. <laughs> went through his phone plenty of times. Oh, yeah, I have. <laughs> Man. I've seen him talking to multiple right. women. I've, I'm an investigator. I like to put stuff down, so... But were you two... Were you living there but not together at the time? 
But he was feeding me to like, you know, we're going to be together. I want to be with you. And he was he was feeding me lies, making me seem like like we, it was going to work it was out. Going towards that. Okay. But and then to turn around and do a whole, whole other thing. thing. Mr. Yeah. Thorne, what is your take on that that circumstance? I admit, I did what I did was wrong. I should have talked to her. You know, try to express to her how I feel about it yeah. instead of just saying I'm breaking up with you and then going. But but even if even if you wanted to, even if you told her about it, breaking camp isn't the thing to do. You You're may right. not want to be her with her as a girlfriend, but you got to stay there as a father. I think it, I think I, if I would have you know not do the breakup part, but try to find a way where we could deal with each other yeah. and handle it. And okay, yeah, you are pregnant, so right. how can we go about it? Then I would have then it would have been a better instead okay. of me saying you know what, I don't want to be with you and then just disappearing for some months. It, yeah. it, it makes it look bad on my end. Like, I just right. was just as dead, ready to be a dead Well, my dude. understanding is her mama can't stand you. Yeah, that's another issue, too, with this. Yeah, she wrote us a letter. <laughs> I don't like how he treats my daughter. He's a dead bit, he, deadbeat. He's a bum. He's abusive. He stinks. I mean, he literally smells. She's unhappy, depressed, and has low self-esteem. She doesn't love herself. I know that for sure. He broke her down. And that's just the first paragraph. And, it, and it's like, how can, you know, how, you don't even know me as a person that really, you never sat down with me and tried to talk to me, and then you, you just thought, I'm a bum, I'm a deadbeat. But, but before that, I was, you know, I've always been a worker. I've always been hard working on the things that I do. And, did you know your mother felt that deeply with respect to Mr. Thorne? Yeah. She despises of him. She just doesn't like him. I think because of the simple fact when we first started out, I confided in her a lot. Which when I he don't... was doing that messy stuff. Yeah, which I don't do anymore because, mm -hmm. like, they're just going to judge him off of what he's done in the past, not looking at what he's progressed to. You think she's overreacting? Yeah, she's overreacting. He hurt her baby, and she's just not going to yeah, like she, it. No my mom's what's just very protective right. of her kids, so. Okay. I'm going to get past what happened in the beginning because it appears you've gotten past it. Yeah. And what I want to talk to you about now is the manner in which you speak to each other because some of the names that you guys call each other is horrifying. You said in your papers he's called you stupid in front of your friends. Is that accurate? Yes. He has called me stupid. You say he's called you a B, but you've also called him a B. Yeah. Okay. Ms. Kendrick, you say Mr. Thorne says some outrageous things to you when you argue. Can you give me some examples of the things he says or the things he calls you? Um, when we get into arguments, um, most of the times it's always about finances. Mm -hmm. But when we do get into arguments, we'll start to nitpick on who does what for the household, who pays who, mm -hmm. and then he'll we'll get nasty with each other. Um, He'll tell me that's why nobody loves you. Your family doesn't even like you. And then most of the time, we're not, me and my family aren't speaking. It's because of him. You said in your papers he's called you stupid in front of your friends. Is that accurate? Yes. He has called me stupid. And uh, you say he's called you a B, but you've also called him a B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Thorne, is, is, is what we're talking about accurate, or do you it have, it have another we, story we, to tell? We both, when we get into it and we both argue, we both just... It gets struck, ugly. You know, we'll just argue. You know, we got into... Uh, uh, we were talking the other day about, you know, trying to get a vehicle and seeing about that. And anyone from us talking about seeing about getting a vehicle, it's us just arguing out of, you know, just off of a few... Let's talk about the money. Tell me how the money thing works at your house and the things that he believes you ought to be doing that you're not. Uh, he just wants me to work. Uh, mm -hmm. He just feels like I... Honestly, I think, like, he feels like I've never worked since we've been together, which is not true. I've always had a job. Um, this is probably the first year that I haven't had a job, that I haven't been working. So he'll just belittle me and make it seem like, okay, well, think, we can't go Why out. Why don't we... you have a job? I mean, sometimes, I mean, I know it's nice to have that 1950s version of life, but sometimes... Mm -hmm. in. In this man's America, it does take two incomes. Well, see, at first, it was he was okay with me. It was like, okay, I got, I'm okay. Uh, you, you're helping because my son, he, he has special needs, so uh -oh. that check goes towards rent every month. So he doesn't have to worry about a big chunk of rent every single month. Because your child has because, special needs yeah, and disability and that comes because from, of it, uh, I that got it. That comes from me. Uh -huh. um, if it turns around and he can't do something to make something happen, like, he doesn't have to worry about food. I, I do that stuff. So it's like it's 50-50 mm -hmm. 
when when it when it comes to things like that because it's Mr. What... Thorne, what do you think about her contribution to the household financially? It's a lot. It's a lot because like she said, if I had to worry about the rent on my own, I would have to, you know, take money from one check just to make sure that the next check have enough. And you know, that would be difficult. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's not it's a little bit difficult how it is now, but it will be much more difficult if, if I had to worry about it. the rent but, of my home. But do you have some concerns over her not contributing more substantially? I more or less want her to work so she could feel have that confidence in herself. Because when we when we going through it and we don't have no money, the first thing that she's always ready to say is, gosh, I wish I had my own job. I wish I had my own money. And then when I say, okay, go ahead and get you a job, the next thing that she'll come back to me is, well, I'm gonna get my own and you just gonna get out. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta go. And it's like, I, I want you to have your own so you can feel confident in your own money. You don't, I, you know. But, well, does she harp on you about how much money you bring in then? No, she doesn't come at me about the money. She comes at me about more or less being able to provide her some money to, to do the things that she wanna do for herself or the kids. And Do you get on him about how much he can bring home to you so you can do stuff? Not all the time, but sometimes. But you do do it. Sometimes, like not, do it. Especially not when all it's, the time. It like, well, well, like, when, when like, has she asked for something like my hair done? Or ridiculous. I would say, like, nothing I would say. ridiculous. It, my nothing. hair done, my nails done, certain things that women want done. Like I, I got to do it myself. Not, 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 he doesn't now, do it. I, I'm gonna expose myself as a court law on estrogen. If money's tight, your hair don't need to be done, nor do your nails need to be done. None of that is essential. You got a special needs kids. You're getting disability on that. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, you guys are just making it, making it, making it. Hair and nails is not essential. I know I'm gonna get hate mail for that, but <laughs> hair and nails is not essential. And if he's tight and it's hard, you should let that go. But then, if he doesn't have it, I, I would do, I would get it myself. Do, how much savings have you got? I mean, like, I... How much savings have you got? It's not a, I mean, no, like, I it's don't a have number. any savings. You don't I don't have, have any savings. You can't have children and not have savings. If right. you're, you know, whatever, you should have a jar called hair and nail money. And every time you feel like getting your hair and nails done, you take that money with it and put it in that jar and put it in the bank. Hey. You know, don't have an impoverished mentality. There's all show and no go. My understanding is, Miss Kendrick, you are waiting for that rain. Let me tell you what your mother told me. She said, I don't know why she's waiting on a ring, she's still married anyway. Mm. Are you still married? Can you have a good relationship with your partner if your mother hates them? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. You waiting on the ring? Mm hmm Wondering what's taking so long? Yep. Maybe we should ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Thorne, what oh. do you think about marriage? You know, I'm open to it. My mother was married for, I'm 20, 29, so she was married for her whole life. So, you know, for me, I've seen how it is to have that family structure right. and how it is to be in that. So I would want that for my kids and for, right. you know, for myself also, you know. You say you're open to it, which means the idea of it is nice. Are you open to it with her? Yes, I am. I am. I am open to it with her. Is there something holding you back? I just feel, you know, I would say the, 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 the little small issues that we have, you know, I would say one of, one of the issues that we will have is her family. Like, cause you know, outside of her, outside of the kids that we have at our house, it's her other two kids. Right. And for me, I would want them around too. I don't want them to just say, oh, you know, the two that we have is all perfect and everything, and they're not there, you know. Right. I would want them around so they could have the same Are they job. around? No. no. They can't come around because he's there. Your mother, mother won't let them come around no. because he's there. Yeah. Wow. Your mother really doesn't. Her mother really doesn't like you. Let me say what else she said about you. She said, <laughs> "My my daughter would be okay financially because I own several businesses, businesses, and she used to be administrator. But when she was, he used to have him just chilling at my stores, and I'm not having him chilling at my stores. So she can't work there because I don't want him there." I mean, Mama really don't like it. In terms of her, in terms of her working, her mother, she she have problems with her own mother working there. She will, if she has something to do in terms of her son. A prime example, she was working there one year, and you know she'll had to go back and forth taking mm -hmm. her son to the doctor. Right. And in terms of her mother saying, "Okay, it's okay," the first thing she's saying, "Oh, you you, you right. gonna get fired? I'm gonna fire you." Yeah. And it's like, 
what's the point in if 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 you I'm working for you and you know I have a situation I'm telling you in advance, not just a day but days in advance that I have to do this and right. and you turn around oh you're fired, then it's like you know what I'd rather go work for somebody else and right. and be able to Without do the things that I need static. to instead of saying oh you're fired because what's the point of doing it if, if you're gonna threaten me every single time I have something to do. So you're waiting on a ring, you're waiting on things to get less thick. Let me tell you what your mother told me. She said, I don't know why she's waiting on a ring, she's still married anyway. Mm. Are you still married? I've been separated for sev oh, several years now. But not divorced? No. Were you aware? I was, I, yes. I've been aware of it. What you waiting on a ring for? Shouldn't you be filing some paperwork? Yeah, that too, that's come, I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. I think we I, just it, haven't put no yeah. time into just saying, okay, let's do that and see, because, you know... Y'all don't know what's important. You putting in time to hair and, and nails and not like, I got this new man. I said, let me, uh, that would be my divorce filing money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd get that right so my kids could get right so I could get with my man. Mm -hmm. Right? You're right. Yeah. Am I overly practical? No. no. I'm just right. How can you change the minds of your partner's family once the well has been poisoned? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. There's such a thing called a married state of mind. And a married state of mind in when it's you and me and then it's them. And them is, includes the children. You love them, but it's you and me on the same page working hard for one another. It's you and me fighting the money, not you and me fighting about the money. You know if you want extra things in your life that you could work. Mm -hmm. And so don't blame him for not having the extra things when you didn't choose that option. When you're married, sometimes there's stuff that you want that you don't get because you simply don't have the financial wherewithal to get it. And I think you need to be at home with that mm -hmm. and comfortable with that and secure with that. And I know you've stopped telling your mother about him, so I think that is an intelligent decision on your part. Uh, Mr. Thorne, I think you're a decent guy, but you have to, when you're the man of the house, you got to be slow to go. And that, when I say go, go I mean to call names. Okay to get undignified, to disrespect. Even if she comes out the side of her neck about something, you the man of the house. You supposed to show up Superman and say, hey, I'm not gonna go down there with you. When you can talk to me like the man that I am, reasonably, come on back. But don't go there with her. And when he doesn't go there, you say, oop, he's leveling up. I better level up too, or he ain't gonna wanna deal with it. You're two good people. I mean, the, the, the other marriage is an impediment, no doubt. <laughs> but the other stuff you can work out, and I think you can, and I think you'll be a great couple. So um, I can't go ahead and bless a marriage that she can't make, but once you get rid of him, attach yourself to him. This matter is adjourned. So you want a ring, but you can't get married yet anyway. Yeah. What are we gonna do about this divorce? Are we gonna finalize that? Yeah, I'm gonna finalize that. Yeah, how? What's your plan? Quickly? Very soon. I don't have nothing negative to say. You know, all the things that were said are not true. I'm a hard worker. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm far from a deadbeat, you know. I'm not, I'm not nothing in paper that she said, so. 